Hey students, it's Mr. Bell here. What we're doing today is what I like to call trig sanity. Okay? We're going to work our mind, we're going to work our body, and we're going to learn how to graph the primary trig functions and in the second half, the reciprocal trig functions. Okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Just got to get the music going. Okay, word out to my physics peeps for the song selection. Word, guys. Word. Okay. So, we're going to start with y equals sine x. Okay? Sounds like an infection, but it's actually a graph. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to start at zero. That's equilibrium. Okay? That's the core. We start at zero. We go to a max of one and to a minimum of negative one. Okay? That's your crest and your trough. One cycle. Okay? Let's do ten cycles. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, keep going, crest drop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, okay, awesome, okay, shake out that arm, alright, now what we want to do, cosine, okay, so cosine, we start at the max, okay, we start at one, at our maximum, go through zero, equilibrium, go to the minimum at negative one, and then we go through zero again, and we end at the max, okay? Max to max. That's one full cycle. That's the period, okay? 360 degrees. You got it? Here we go. Give me 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. Shake out that arm. Shake it up. Shake out the other one we haven't used yet. Why not? Okay? All right. You guys, the next one is unreal. Tangent, y equals 10x. It really works your asymptote. Okay? Now, the asymptote is at 90, okay? And 270, okay? You really got to keep your asymptote at 90 and at 270. Okay, in between there, we're going to take our left arm and we're going to reach to infinity, okay? You're going to take your right arm and reach to negative infinity, okay? In between those asymptotes, you just keep reaching, okay? And we just keep reaching back and forth, okay? I'm explaining it really long because this song has a long pause, okay? So we're going, right now we're just doing it slow, okay? Asymptote, okay? Asymptote, reach, asymptote, reach, asymptote, reach, asymptote. You ready? Okay, hold that stretch. Wait for it. Ask them to stretch. Ask them to. Okay. We're just going to keep going. Okay. Remember to keep that ass and toe at 90 and 270. Okay. Reach for infinity and negative infinity. Okay. There we go. Keep it going. Oh, man. I'm really feeling it. How about you guys? Try to stay with me. Okay, this is only the first of a series of workouts that I'm probably not going to make, but you got to stay with me. Oh man, this song just keeps going. Okay. Okay, let's do one more. Ready? Nine. Two set. Come Woo! All right. That music's still going, but I don't care. We're going to stop. All right. All right. Mr. Bell back here for the second half. The music cut off, but don't worry. The workout goes on. All right. Here we go. We're going to do the reciprocal functions. Okay. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Okay. One over sine x. Right? So what happens here is we work our asymptote. Okay. At zero, okay. At 180, 360, okay. Okay, between zero and 180, we do a parabola going up. Between 180 and 360, parabola going down, okay. You ready? Here we go. Cosecant up, asymptote down, asymptote down, asymptote up, asymptote asymptote up. Asymptote, down, asymptote, up, asymptote, down, asymptote, up, down. You get it. 
I think I just I think I just messed it up, but that's okay. Secant. Secant is just like cosecant, except you take the whole graph and you shift it 90 degrees to the left. Okay? So our asymptote is now working at 90 and 270. Okay? Same graph, up and down. Ready? Here we go. 90, 270. There we go. The music stopped again, but I'm still working. And I'm still messing up this graph, but I don't care. Okay. It's because I'm going back and forth. The graph actually keeps going, right? Woo, this is ugly, but that's okay. All right, we've done a lot here. Let's finish off with cotangent, okay? It actually looks just like tangent, except we just shift it again, 90 degrees, okay? So your asymptotes are at zero, 180, and 360, okay? In between there, last time we raised our left hand to infinity, well for me left hand, but now we wanna do right hand to infinity, left hand and A to infinity, ready? Stretch, Okay, let's pick up the pace. This is the burnout. Here we go. Cotangent. Try to keep up. Remember, stretch those arms. Infinity. Negative infinity. Okay, just keep stretching. Okay. Freestyle, you ready? Here we go. Sign. with cotangent. Rotate the arms just because you don't care. Oh man. I don't know about you guys, but that was an awesome workout. Okay? So just watch the graphs that I put on the screen. With the workout, those are right. The workout's probably wrong. But if anything I showed you is that math can be fun. All right, just like Sean T, peace out. This is Trick Sanity.